I met Dr. Phillips when we first started medical school in uh, 2009. Uh, we didn't know each other before that, but uh, we started studying together, I think, after the first set of exams. So uh, we got pretty close very quick, and then we ended up uh, being roommates during residency. And uh, it was kind of nice to have to live with someone living through the same uh, life events as you. Um, we'd wake up in the morning in the bathroom getting ready, you know, talk about cases that we'd seen the day before, or, so we always had like a little debriefing session in the morning. If there's something that I think we'll always remember from, from residency or from studying is when we got so tired and we didn't know how to, to stay awake, to, to study a little bit longer, we'd get our sleeping bags out at night on the on the porch uh, with the lamps from the living room. We'd all put that on the porch and we, we'd said we study in our, our cocoons. So that's a, I think that's a memory that we'll always laugh about and, and remember. As a physician, I'd say that Dr. Phillips is always uh, caring with her patients and she'll always try to be in a good mood even if she, she's not, she'll never let it show. She'll always uh, try to make her patients laugh, like uh, sometimes she'd go at the hospital with a Montreal Canadian shirt, you know, just because she knows that it'll make some of her patients happy. And um, she, she's really going to give 100% of herself all the time to make sure everything's done right. Well, I think everyone uh, knows uh, from our residency how uh, Jessie loves to do uh, motocross and skidoo and uh, so uh, that's pretty much the, the activities that she spends uh, a lot of time with. Being from a small town uh, in New Brunswick, Dr. Phillips I think from the beginning always wanted to stay uh, in New Brunswick and always had the idea that she would go back to her hometown in St. Quentin, so close to her family and her boyfriend and uh, I think it's important for New Brunswick to form physicians and try to keep them here uh, to work and I think she'll be a great attribute to her, uh, her colleagues back in St. Quentin and try to make a difference uh, over there. I think Dr. Phillips deserves this award 100%. Uh, she's always been hardworking. Uh, she always also tried to help the other residents. Uh, she doesn't try to just work on her own. Uh, she really has a good uh, team spirit and I think she'll, do, uh, she'll be a great doctor in her, her, uh, her little uh, town in St. Quentin and uh, I think she could make a, a big difference there also. I wish her all the best. <laughs>